And there you guys have it. A little bit of history in Carrington Falls. Okay, before we try to get down to the bottom of the falls today, let's have a look at what we're expecting. So we are here, falls lookout. That's the falls, what a beauty that is. Damn, that reminds me of Ellenboroughs. Ellenboroughs, the double and Rawson. Anyways, if you, you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> it's just um, the video before this. All right, down there, and then we have to go around here somewhere and head down, hopefully pop out here. Um, okay, so in short, this is New South Wales. And how much research I've done on this trail? Very little. <laughs> Not zero, but very little. Uh, I'm going to wing it. Do what I love best. My theory is if someone's been down there, which I've seen many videos on, there has to be some kind of faint trail to follow. So, wing it. Uh, worst case scenario, call it quits when I fail. <laughs> Alright guys, short 140 meters walk and boom, the falls. 90 meter drop! Check this out! What a beauty! Alright, it's time to get down to the bottom. Alright, we're pretty much back at the car park and instead of doing the Falls Trail or the Falls Track, we're doing this, we're starting at the Stevios Track. We're heading back, so we are now heading to Izzard's Lookout and from there my understanding is there's a faint trail to follow. Wish me luck. We are now approaching the lookout. Since we're here, we might have a little sneak peek to see what we can see at this stage from this lookout. Let me see if there's a way down. That looks possible, eh? Okay, so that's our gorge or creek that we're going, we're aiming for. That there is probably a way down. That leads to under there, but not enough to get us down to the creek. Alright, can't see much at this lookout, so let's head back and see if we can find a way down. Probably around about only 20 meters back from the lookout, there's this faint trail. Okay, marked by this Waratah flower. Alright, let's head in and see what kind of trouble we can get up to. Scrap that last section because after wandering around for a bit I decided that wow so windy today I decided the best course of action is to just come off the side cliff the lookout just literally right there all right so we'll descend here and we'll see how we go because I think this is the best chance of getting down to the bottom Kind of like a rock gully here too so not too difficult okay so standing above you can see the trail goes left summarizing where i am so far this is definitely a trail i not, i have a gut feeling i'm on the right track all right so from the lookout direct descent down all right easy and we follow the trail Towards the left. Crap, we hit a dead end already. Maybe just get past this boulder and see if we can descend further. Whew. All right, so you do keep going behind the boulder. It's a little bit narrow, but not not too much trouble. And then the path continues. 
and we are losing elevation which is perfect oh no i'm heading the right way This is definitely the trail. I'm pretty confident. Okay, don't roll the ankle yet. <laughs> All right, looks like the trail heads down and around. I'm gonna keep at it. I found my first marker. I'm on track. I didn't know that this, this trail had markers. But, you know, just like anything popular, honestly, there has to be a way down. And if there's a way down, beautiful. If there's a way down, then this, there's kind of some kind of group that will come past and put some markers along the way. On track, guys. Quite happy with that. So we're still heading across, and now we hit this little waterfall. It's actually flowing quite well. So I'm not 100% sure if this is still on the track, but by the looks of things, it's a strong possibility. Here. All right, I'm gonna keep heading across. Yeah, this does look like a trail again. We keep going left until we see the second waterfall. Let's just call it for a waterfall for now. And this looks like we've just following the stream down. So this is what we call like a little gully. Hopefully it remains safe to descend down. Oh wow, I saw another marker. Quite happy with that. Here it is. So someone's definitely been down here. If they're not, then I would have taken this route as well because doesn't look like we've been descending much and I still need to make up a lot of elevation I don't think these blue markers is where I want to head to I'm going too far left and I'm actually gaining elevation now rather than losing elevation which sucks so I'm starting to question whether I'm on the right track. You see there's another red marker here. I'm keeping up hope that this is going to descend somewhere soon. Okay, we're finally starting to descend now. All right. Don't know where this is going to lead me hopefully down the bottom but as you can tell this is an established footpad people's been here look another marker another marker blue ribbon here on my right now it's heading up again oh man what's going on oh down cans or well, attempt of a can all right, excellent. This is the way down, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looking good. Whew, that was interesting. I think I upset a bee's nest or some shit. All oh, these animals are attacking me. All right, I can hear the creek. I know I'm close. Here we are, a marker. This is the steep section. So I've definitely gone past the cliff break, which is pretty good. I think that's where that waterfall was. And we're just gonna keep descending. Asian slide time. Just use your legs, glide. Woo.
I see the creek guys. We bloody made it. Pretty easy. Uh, what is it? Let me tilt and see what time it is. It is now 9.37. So roughly 40 minutes to get to the bottom. I found rope. But look at this. It's dynamic. Shit, look at all these freaking animals. Oh, I better get going. Sorry. All right, don't rely on them. I don't know why people can't get down here without the rope. I've got one hand on the rope, just in case. Well, I'm technically, I'm just walking backwards without losing grip. Ooh. All right, I cheated. I used rope just then. Oh, that last section. Oh my God, these animals. You see them? Oh, they're flies. Oh, they're harmless, unless they bite me. But I thought they were bees. They keep buzzing around. Annoying shit. All right, guys. I'm on the creek. Awesome stuff. The creek. All we have to do is now stay on the creek and make our way up. Easy job, easy job. All right. I've got to find, a, find something to, so I can remember. All right. That, see that tree with, that's hollowed in? That is my marker to turn up. And then I'll look for the trail back there. All right, let's head upstream. Already from the distance, I can see a little waterfall, a cascade. Which is going to be it's good. Time to take the jacket off too. Oh my god, my bag's stuck. All right, guys. First waterfall. No clue what the name is. Let's just call it the Lower Carrington Falls for now. Not bad, huh? All right, let's see if I can get around closer to the base. Oh boy, it's roaring. That was one heck of a bypass. Woo. Pretty much sharp elevation up. This out, buddy. Woo she is roaring. Time to get in the water guys. I can't buy there's one section I can't bypass. Alright. Let's hope it's not too deep. Oh so nice and cool. Wow, look at the sheer size of these boulders. Man, it was so difficult to get past. I haven't gone far. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to take a lot longer than I expect. I'm relying on this dead tree now. Whoops. To get me across. Check this out. Twin falls. So if you creek hop stay on the right hand side of the creek because after a while getting past those big boulders the trail picks up again this is a clear and easy walk on the right hand side of the creek oh look there's even tape so someone's marked this oh sugar as the route here we go oh my god look at the boulders oh a lot of boulders today all right let's get up them and over them 
So far I've, I've stayed on the right hand side of the creek pretty much most of the way and now I'm 40 minutes into the hike Woo! I think we're close oh man boulders like crazy okay no way I'm walking through that I thank God I see a pink ribbon over there so the goal is to get to that side somehow looks like this is it all right guys just gonna get to the left hand side and see how it goes check out this four though from one of the side creeks coming down awesome the side two three creek for those that know it's very similar to the waterfall next to Kuma Gorge Beautiful. Alright guys, I know for a fact I'm very close because I can see the mist from Carrington 4 in that direction. Wow, look at the spray. Woo! This is going to be fun. Guys, there she is. Time to get closer. In a waterproof case, the GoPro. Let's go for it and get a soaking. Woo! Oh man, what a beast! That is absolutely amazing. This rivals Ellenborough's Falls. Except the challenge to get down here was worth it. I really enjoyed it. Man, it made the Horseshoe Falls. For those who follow my channel, you know that I originally did Horseshoe Falls. I thought they were large boulders until I saw this goddamn creek. The boulders here made the ones at Horseshoe look tiny. It took roughly a little bit under two hours to get here. That included all the stops. I hope to get out in one and a half hours. All right, say goodbye to the force. God damn it, what the hell is the name of the four now? I totally forgot. <laughs> Who cares? Awesome force. See you later. All right, since we left the force, you guys can probably hear me better now without me screaming. Well, that's such a beautiful four. I enjoyed it so much that the name of the waterfall just slipped my mind and then I did, couldn't for the life of me remember I had to take out my phone it's called Carrington Falls how can I forget such a beautiful bloody waterfall's name such a shame anyways look at the size of these boulders oh all right so it took roughly two hours to get down oh, I'm hoping to get out in one and a half all right so I'm moving I'm getting out a lot quicker than the way in I found some better lines and obviously I'm familiar with the route so it's been 15 minutes and I'm also I'm already back on the right hand side where all the um, ribbons are I think I'm following a different trail out I'm gonna give it a shot I don't know I have a, I have a feeling you can descend a lot earlier here look at this I don't know maybe give it a shot eh I've got a gut feeling that I might regret this 
<laughs> but that is life. I'm gonna see if I can get up here. Up we go. Oh man, I hope I don't regret this and I have to descend all the way back down. But if I can't, then I'm just gonna cut cut across to the right hand side, my right, and hopefully not get blocked by anything. Look at this. There's a gully here. Ooh. That looks possible. All right. It's steep, but this looks good so far. All right, I'm gonna keep contouring to my right and see how I go. The faint trail ended. I'm in the thick of it now. I think the goal here is just to keep going up. Oh, well, at least I'm warm up again. Ugh. Jacket needs to come off soon. Whew, boy. All right, let's keep at it. Hopefully I get a little bit of luck and then find an exit. I made it to the base of the cliff. Man, I just need to find a way up from this. And I should be right. So where my, my plan here is just to contour this, this, the, the base of this um, cliff face for as long as I can. And hopefully I can find a way up. Oh, I hit one of the waterfalls that we passed on the top. All right, guys, I think I screwed up which sucks so this is definitely not ideal just go back the way you can so i'll have to descend and this looks super steep oh boy why did i try to take a shortcut all right got to descend and keep going back the same way i came i guess uh, that definitely added to the adventure unfortunately i'm still descending oh gosh but the good news is i see the big waterfall i think you know that very first one that I saw so I'm almost there is that it oh shit that's not it all right down we go I found a cave <laughs> Woo! and I lost a whole bunch of elevation I'm back down to the creek level. So, back on course. <laughs> oh, that's a nice detour. All right, let's get out of here. Back on top of the falls. Oh, almost out. Small detour, but that's okay. Back to the rope. All right. Damn, that detour cost me. Awesome hike. Definitely can't complain. Loved every bit of it. Boy, so glad I was here to look out now. All right. It is 1.13. I left it at 11.33. An hour and 40, oh man. An hour and 40 minutes to get back to the lookout. Man, I was aiming for an hour and a half, but my detour cost me. So, honestly, it wasn't too bad. All right, guys, definitely knackered. Time for a rest, and on to the next waterfall. <sighs> this is Carrington Fall, guys. Awesome hike. All right, catch you guys on the next hike. See ya.